So you want to drastically change the sound of your guitar. What's the easiest way to do it? Well, I'll tell you, it's been done since uh, the dawn of man, since before guitars were ever created, really. Pickup swaps. What is up YouTube? My name is Buddy Blues and today we're gonna talk about changing our pickups on a Strat. A little bit off frame here to my side on this wall. If you don't know what this wall looks like because you haven't been here, that would be weird. I've got a Strat that my friend and I put together. He ended up selling it, I ended up buying it from him. That isn't how business works, but I really like that guitar. And it's been one of these projects where it never ends and uh, you, it's just on the side, like missing a pick guard or whatever. And I, I wanted to get a, a really cool pick guard for it and really good pickups. I was thinking the traditional route, like, like we do. If you want, you, you go Fender, you could go a little bit uh, more hand, you can go whatever, you can go Mojo Tone, you could go Lawler pickups, but Another part of this video is talking about boutique stuff. In the guitar world, boutique has become a, 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 another term for really expensive. The JHS guy talks about this a lot, but it's, so boutique pedal builders, for example. Really, if you go back to the term of it, it's just, it's a small company that makes small batches of things and they're, and they're usually better quality than this guy. <laughs> boutique to me means, there's just a little bit more care that's gone into it because it's a smaller company, smaller labor uh, hours and whatever. So it's they're going to focus more on that product, whether it's a pedal, a guitar or a uh, pickup set or a pick guard or a pick guard that is loaded, which is what I got from Varus Guitars. If you remember last week, I told you about a guy called Brett Harris. He runs Varus Guitars. He sent me that Triple Trouble pedal that I uh, reviewed. You can see that video right here. And I said that he also sent me something else as a little surprise. And it's uh, right here. I'm just gonna grab it. All right, are you ready? Look at it. I mean, come on. That's wood. I mean, really, how beautiful is that? Look at it. The roses sparkle. It's insane. Full disclosure, this loaded pick guard was indeed sent to me. That is absolutely no way going to skew how I review it. I just want to let you know. Varus Guitars is based in New York and they've got plenty of services that they offer. Obviously they do hand wound pickups, that's what we're reviewing today, and they do handmade pick guards that we're going to review in this video again. I don't know how I'm going to review a pick guard. It's beautiful, there I have reviewed it. They do custom builds on guitars, they do refinishes, they do relic jobs, they do guitars, full on guitars, custom guitars, you dream it, they do it. It's a great company. You know, it's a labor of love when the owner of the company is actually a banker full time and he's just focusing more on building guitars than actual banking. So a huge thank you to Varus Guitars for sending me this loaded pick guard and it really brought my strat alive because it's been just sitting there all sad and lowly and now it is loaded with the best of the best. I want to play it. I want to play it, but I want to talk about the box. What box? I'm glad you asked. You know these unboxing videos you watch on YouTube? No one ever focuses on the box. You, you gotta, we gotta talk about the box. Bo I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna stop this video right now. We gotta talk about the box. So you've seen the box that Fender sends you whenever you buy pickups. You get the pickups in a nice plastic box with a little foam around it, right? Look at this. This is the box they send you when you get pickups from various guitars. Your pickups come in this box. Now, obviously I opted for the loaded pick guard, so they sent me the box just so I can showcase it for you guys. This is how you open the box. This is all wood, by the way. Handmade, hand-stained. I mean, come on now. This is the little lock thingy. So inside you would usually, like I said, get your pickups. Got this card that says 
Happy holidays, ladies and It was the holidays when I received it. And uh, look at that, that's embossed, the logo. So that's cool. But the coolest part, I just, I'm just gonna go for it. This is the coolest part, look at this. That's cool. That's going on my keychain today. Output jack with some screws for the pick guard. And a little rider here that tells you exactly what you got and what you're getting. So the next pickup on the set that I got is Alnico 5s. So you get that really big single coil sound. The middle is an Alnico 3 magnet. I love when they mix magnets and again just like the box just like everything here this is this is handwritten everything the attention to detail is unbelievable it really is so they're explaining each and every pickup what it is and whenever we mix and match magnets that gives you a really unique strat sound or your really unique pickup anyway back to the middle pickup it's an alnico 3 wound to uh, 5.95 it's got like a 50s sound to it the little SRV hair. Will I grow SRV hair if I play it? Bridge is an Alnico 2, but here's what here's the cool thing about this bridge is it's 7.4, so it's a lot hotter than the other ones, and it's got a copper base plate. So what else has a copper base plate in the bridge? A telecaster. So it's gonna be very spanky. I expect it to be again, I haven't played these pickups yet, but I expect it to be very spanky and it's got a punch. Look at these joints. That is how you send pickups. I mean, as you can see, the attention to detail on this pick guard is incredible. The wood is extremely smooth. It's been sanded with a lot of love. You know how these anodized pick guards always get scratchy and feel like you can feel it. This one feels amazing. It feels like a plastic pick guard, but it's actually wood because of the finish they put on it. The shiny roses are a lovely touch. I'm a huge roses fan, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it really brought the looks of this guitar to life. It is so beautiful. I could spend the whole video talking about that box. Thank you. That's actually the box your pickups would come in. I, again, like I said earlier, I opted for the loaded pick guard. If you were to just order the hand-wound pickups, they would come in that box. You get to keep the box. You, I mean, have, you know what the Fender box looks like, that plastic little tin thing that you just throw away. I'm keeping this box. I'm putting a pedal in that. I don't know what I'm doing with that box. I'm keeping the box. Okay, enough about the box. Did you see the box? <laughs> None of that matters if the pickups don't sound good, right? So let's see how it sounds. Oof, you're in for a treat. Let's go.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard these hand-wound various guitar pickups on that gorgeous pick guard. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really do think we should give the boutique industry a bit more attention. At least as much attention they put into the products that they make. I mean, this took weeks to make. It wasn't, it, there is no assembly line type thing. Just, well, I want this pickup, want this pickup, want this pickup. It, there's you could tell that there's a lot of love that went into that product they care they a factory worker doesn't really care he cares about his job and the 401k but these guys really care because they're not selling as much as fender fender is for example they're every their reputation stands on literally every product they make so if you are in the market of getting new pickups i do hope you give various guitars a chance they are really nice people ladies and gentlemen i have been buddy blues and you have been the people of the blues until next time thank you so much for tuning in this week subscribe share like show this video to anyone really until next time